In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up cache refresh in Glue Server. If you have existing directory server like Active Directory, and if you want to allow people to use your Glue Server for authentication, then you will most likely want to utilize the cache refresh feature. This feature allows you to pull your user's information from your backend directory servers and authenticate them against your backend server during single sign-on operations which will be performed through Glue Server. So just to give you a quick background of why we are here, we have installed uh, one Glue Server Community Edition or CE and we have one test LDAP server. We're going to show you how to connect this uh, Glue Server CE with that backend LDAP server. Uh, there are around 100 test users there in our backend uh, LDAP server and we'll perform a couple of tests with one of our backend directory users whose uh, username or UID is uh, glue tester. As a side note, deployer, that means you, need to know all required values of your backend directory server and your glue server to properly configure cache refresh. As for example, uh, hostname, IP address, including SSL or non-SSL port of your backend directory server, the user which you are going to use as BindDN for this cache refresh. Sometimes you need to know the full tree information of your BindDN user uh, as well as required passwords, object classes, detailed information of backend directory server's attribute, etc. If these informations are not available to you, it will be uh, really hard to set up cache refresh properly. The bottom line is, person who is configuring the cache refresh need administrative privilege in Glue Server and at least know various parts of his or her backend directory servers. So basically, the cache refresh operation is divided into two sections. The first step involves pulling user information from your directory server and the second step is to manage authentication. We're dividing the whole process into three parts. Just shared a quick information of um, cache refresh feature here. Second part will cover the configuration of cache refresh and the third part will uh, cover the manage authentication section.